spaghetti. Yum. It's actually in my video that I just finished. Um, you have to watch. Should be up before this one is. So, yay. If you haven't watched it already, watch it. It is, um, if your neighbors actually cared. They actually don't. <laughs> A little tidbit there. I'm not spoiling nothing. I just finished making that video and it's pretty awesome. Sitting here in my motel room, just kind of having. Good lord, this is a long piece of spaghetti. This is actually not it's spaghetti, but it's my homemade, my homemade version of spaghetti, which is ramen noodles, tomato soup. And that's it. I'm gonna heat it up. If you don't like actual ramen myself with a packet, like I don't like that at all. But if you can handle noodles and you like spaghetti, okay. If you ever had spaghetti from my can? This is what this is. It's just some ramen noodles and Campbell's tomato soup. Okay, I got a tea brand Campbell's tomato soup. So that's like 50 cents at the 75 cents a can. Anywhere you go, that's really cheap. And ramen's really cheap. So you get two packs. This is like $3. It's like $4 for probably a good 6 to 12 meals of spaghetti. Four bucks we're talking about. We're talking about four or five bucks for, for a good, oh, for a good, um, six to twelve mils. Five dollars, and you get six to twelve mils of ramen? Whoever would have thought about this? And you can add parmesan, that's only like another, what, dollar, two dollars, grocery store? It's perfect. You want to add other stuff to this? You want to add meatballs? All right, meatballs aren't that expensive, probably another three bucks. Come on, you guys. It's the easiest thing you could ever make. If your kids are hungry, you don't want to make spaghetti. Put a damn roll of thing of ramen in the microwave. Bingo bango. Tomato sauce on it. And here you go. Is that bingo bango? I didn't say bingo bango. My friend here, bingo bango. Sounds like game show. Like, did I win? Bingo bango, you just won. Ten thousand dollars in what in Bitcoin. What? Ten thousand dollars in Bitcoin. Oh uh, no. I want to actual, two thousand actual dollars here. No. Bingo bango, you've won Bitcoin. Bingo bango, I don't give a damn anymore. Goodbye. <laughs> Prizes aren't worth that. Aren't that great? Bingo bango. Bingo bango, my ass. You want bingo bango on your ass? Just call Leslie. What? <laughs> bingo bango can be used anywhere. Anything you can talk about bingo bango. It's like your old New Yorker how to play a bingo. B forty seven. Oh sorry, that's not B four. B four and forty seven. Bingo, bango. I've got bingo, bango, Django. <laughs> what? That just rhymes. Anyways, <laughs> so to go bingo, bango. Why don't you know that to be with? <laughs> I'm just sitting here. My husband went to the library to go. Fill out some forms and uh, print out a document for me. So we're um, we've, we've just been here. I've been fully kind of cooped up and kind of like uh. I fill out a lot of things here lately. That's got me stressed out. I'm not first off, you know, we have the death in the family. It was it was brutally killed. My father-in-law was, and I find out my family, my mother's side. Most of them have disowned me. Like they just don't care about me anymore. Don't want nothing to do with. Don't want nothing to do with me. When I called my aunt, she left me a message and said, "I don't care who was killed or who was shot, but I don't know. I don't know why you're calling me. I want nothing. Um, I have no business with you. I'll lose my number." That's very negative. Very negative. And I still think I want my family back. I'm living my life right. I've got a home. Okay, got a place to stay here temporarily. I've got food. Okay, I'm fixing to get a job. I'm fixing to have extra income. What? I'm off the streets. What? How could how could I be doing wrong here? They spread lies and rumors about me. I've never said nothing about them ever. And I hope this does come out. I hope they do watch it. I hope they do see it. Because like I can tell you, the two people that have already spread rumors about me. Now, I'm not going to mention their names because I'm very nice. See, the problem is when they need me, when they're going to wonder where I am at 
and they need me and they realize I'm live, out here living my best life, which I am, and I'm fabulous. I'm walking to victory. I'm not upset by it anymore. I'm heartbroken, but yes, I'm not upset by it anymore. Because I see how they are. I see who they are. And that's just not right to treat any family member like that. And I have a friend who goes, who goes through the exact same thing I am. Goes the exact same thing I am. Who are depressed because of it. Do you guys gotta understand the love of your family no matter who they are? I don't care if they're on drugs. I don't even love them. Nobody says you have to give them money. Nobody says you have to do something for them that they don't want. Love them. If they take advantage of you for that, then you step in and you say, listen, you've taken advantage of me. I've done the best I can for you. I can't do everything for you. Please try to do some things on your own because I can't continue to have a relationship with somebody who's going to take advantage of me. And let them know. I don't mind hanging out with you. I don't mind doing this stuff, but I can't be taken advantage of. You're on a doormat. So, but love your family. You don't know how long you're going to be with somebody. You don't know when somebody's going to die of old age, of cancer, of whatever, of murder, or who knows what. You don't know. None of us know. We all have an expiration date. We don't know when we're going to die. So love your family. Love them now. Don't let go of the people that you haven't spoke to in years because of family arguments. Make right with them. If they don't want to make right with you, if they don't want to have you in their family, they want to cut you out, try your best to make right with them and say, listen, if you don't want to have anything to do with me, that's fine. But just know that I care. Just know that I love you. And I'm going to be around and I'm going to pray for you. And that's the way I feel with my family. Know that I care. I love you. Know that I'm going to be around and I'm going to pray for you. So, yeah. So, yeah. Love your family. Thanks guys for watching this. This is kind of a short video. I don't have a whole lot of memory right now. Thanks for subscribing. If you already subscribed, hit that notification bell. I uh, hit the subscription bell. Hit the notification bell. You want to see more videos like this one or vlogs, more funny videos. Thanks. Have a blessed whatever time it is for you.